Um, Richard, Hello. your former restauranteur, chef. That's right. And now this is something that I love that we do. This is from Dream Farm. Correct. When anyone takes something that is simple and turns it into something extraordinary, takes something that is regular and makes it super fabulous and that's what you guys have done with this let me just show you real quick you're going to get a set of two of these they're called chopulas chopula which as is opposed to a chopper or a spatula correct okay and before you go and eh, i know what that is hold on it's a set of two of them these will sit up they will flip they will chop they're flexible they have a little bit of spoon action happening around the back. Let me show you your choices. And it's $18.96 for both. The colors are, these are the blue. Down here then is your red. And then next to that is the black. And then next to that is the green. Uh, they're uh, heat resistant to 480 degrees. They are dishwasher safe. But uh, there's so much more that these do. Will you tell everyone what you told me earlier? Because I thought it was genius. So here's the thing. Think about it. We look at things through a different lens at Dreamform, trying to, like you say, create the ultimate kitchen gadgets. Normally in your assortment, you'd have a metal spatula. You'd have mm -hmm. a rubber spatula for your nonstick. You'd have a wooden spatula so you can chop things up. But you just said it. With the, the chopula, you're actually getting something that's a flexible tip when you engage it in this way. So it's super precise for those delicate things like eggs, fillets Salmon, of fish. Yeah. But when you go in this direction, it becomes very firm. So now I can actually go into a pan where you see I have chopped meat in here, and I can actually chop the meat because it's firm in this direction, just like I would with a hard wooden spatula. So that becomes your chopula, right? Right. Okay. So now instead of having two different tools, you have one tool doing the same thing, which I love. So I can get in there with a real firm edge because that's the way it's designed. Here's the other thing. Now when I have all that grease and all that meat on there and you're looking to put it down on the counter, right. no spoon rest. Guess what? There's a notch in the handle here. When I put this on the counter, it actually holds it up away from the countertop nice. so none of that grease and that muck gets on the see, countertop that's nice okay now so, let me see some of that flex action so, too again just, what are you doing you're now there's your little bit of chopping i'm cutting the egg see this is firm in this direction i'm gonna wait for the camera to come i've actually yeah. cut the egg uh -huh. but then look at how flexible this it is it gets right under I there get right under a small and it's thin, thin and i see how it's scooping the spoony part a little bit there. yeah that's a great point notice the back of the spatula has almost like a spoon back so when you go to scoop things like scrambled eggs in fact we're going to put some scrambled eggs okay. in here this this is great. I got to tell you, this is the smartest. I want to call it a spatula, a, a chopper. Uh, uh, so I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but the thing is, it's going to take the place of so much and work so much better. You know what I like too? And let me just show you this sure. real quick camera. Look at how thin the lip is on this. That's Super right. thin. But then it does get beefier and chunkier. So there's that flexibility. There's that flexibility that you're going to want. Wafty thin on the edge. And then notice how it graduates up in thickness. So you're going to be able to do those heftier things. Things, those bigger things you're gonna be able to get under them a lot easier okay real quick we only have about 45 so we're gonna, seconds we're left. gonna actually cut look at this as a meatloaf cut, why chop. why get out a knife I can actually cut my meatloaf and then simply scoop it up and I'm gonna put it right onto our plate and get it ready for service here and again that little scoop there is firm enough to scoop a large wow. piece of meatloaf but also get sauce and things like that off the plate so delicate for the egg and sturdy enough to chop the meat that's right doing the pancakes I see some cookies why that's did we right. get to the cookies Co I know well, I desserts know. last. We'll I say know. that. First, he just walks in. <laughs> I walked right in. Now he doesn't even get to the cookies. <laughs> come on, let's go over right here. Go. Come All on, right. come with me. I'm coming me. over. This is looking so good, Richard. I want to oh bring the meatloaf 